Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm Chang Jian Li, who is presenting our work, Sketch to CAD, Sequential CAD Modeling by Sketching in Context. This is a collaborative work with Hao Pan, Adrian Boso, and Eloy Metro. Sketching and 3D modeling are two major steps of industrial design. Usually, designers first draw rough sketches to express their vision quickly and approximately. Then, the sketches are converted to 3D models using CAD tools that are over high precision and editability. However, design sketching and CAD modeling are often performed by different experts with different skill sets, making design iteration cumbersome, expensive, and time consuming. Thus, there's a gap between user sketching and the final 3D model. In this work, we aim to bridge this gap and propose sketch to CAD. Before introducing our method, let's first quickly go through some related works. Some works aim to interpret complete drawing via optimization. For example, true to form converts sketches to 3D code network. However, these kind of methods require clean drawing input and additional user notations. Instead, we in interpret CAD models from freehand drawing without further annotation. The sketch system and Gators++ provide the gesture-based CAD modeling tools. They are effective, but usually require to learn a set of complex gestures. Our originality is to allow users to directly draw complete parts of shapes they want to obtain. Some work focuses on sketch-based procedural modeling. They target shapes with fixed number of parameters created using a fixed order of operations. In contrast, we allow users to draw in any order and represent operations with varying number of parameters. Some other works sketch novel shapes in the context of an existing sense that provides the positioning and the geometric constraints. Inspired by these works, we leverage context within the sequential modeling workflow to help reduce the ambiguity of sketch interpretation. Now, let's see how our algorithm works. Our key observation is based on the similarity between sketching and CAD modeling workflows. As shown in this example, starting from a cuboid, users iteratively model complex shapes by adding or removing parts. This sequential workflow corresponds well to the way industrial designers draw managed objects and to the way CAD modeling software represents 3D shapes. Based on this observation, we propose Sketch to CAD, a learning-based interactive modeling system that translates sketching operations into their CAD op modeling operations. Our system is a translator that takes as the input user drawing strokes in context of the current modeling session and maps them into a sequence of predefined CAD operations along with their parameters. The parametric nature of our operation enables the easy editing. Totally, we propose the following four technical contributions. We first propose a common parameterization of popular sketching and CAD modeling operations. Here, we choose extrude, bevel, add, subtract, and sweep as examples to illustrate the effectiveness. We then develop a deep learning architecture to recognize these operations. It takes context into account to handle arbitrary order of operations and perform stroke summation followed by a fitting process to handle varying number of parameters. We train the network to train the network. We design a large data set of synthetic CAD models along with their step-by-step -step construction sequences. Finally, we present Sketch to CAD, a novel sketch-based system based on the above ingredients that unify the sequential workflow of design sketching and CAD modeling. Let's first see the operator of parameterization one by one. Remember that instead of the tedious gestures, we allow users to draw the complete parts of the shape. Thus, for extrude, as shown in the example, users draw the edges of the moved face F and the extended side edges as colored in orange. To apply extrude operator, we need to find the base phase F and the offset distance D from the user strokes. As for bevel, users draw curve L and X offset representing the rounded corner. The base phase F corner C with an opposite corner C prime. Profile curve are needed to apply bevel operator. For add and subtract, Users directly draw the edges of desired prism. Currently, we support triangular, quadrangular, and pentagonal prisms. Then, we find the base phase F, prism base curve C, profile length D, and L subtract option O to apply this operator as shown in this demo. Lastly, to apply sweep operator, 
users draw the circles and the profiles of the desired swept shape. We request the base face app, the base and offset, offset circles C0 and C1, profile code CP, and the air subtract option O. Having the operator parameterization, now let's move to see the deep learning architecture to recognize these operations. Recurring the intended operation and the associate parameters are challenging. For example, the imprecise user strokes, the context matters of interpretation, the variations of operator parameterizations. Thus, in order to resolve the challenges, we propose a three-stage pipeline. The first stage classifies the sketch among possible CAD operations. The second stage segments the user sketch and contextual maps into parts specific to target CAD operation. Finally, the third stage instantiate the CAD operations by parameter fitting. Note here, other than the user sketches, depths and normal maps of the current model are taken as contextual input. Now let's go through these steps. To get the contextual maps, we render the current shape into depths and normal maps using the view-based renderer. All the input and output maps in our system have square size 256. Having the input, we employ a simple VGG-like deep neural network to predict operation type. Here, sweep operator is found. And to supervise the training, we use the weighted cross-entropy loss. For parameter fitting, actually there are different technical choices, such as brute force parameter fitting. But there are some difficulties in our case. For example, the direct magnitude regression, regression is not robust to network inaccuracies. The offset distance from 2D images have inherent scale ambiguity, etc. Instead, we utilize the segmentation plus fitting scheme so that the whole network deal with the single majority segmentation task, which is easy to train. The following fitting scheme is robust to inaccuracies or network predictions, and generally the strategy is easy to generate across different operations. Specifically, the segmentation network has a standard UNIX structure and the two decoder branches output the face map and the corresponding code maps. We train a separate segmentation network for each operator and use the L2 loss to supervise the dense map learning. Here, since the operator type is sweep, then sweepnet is used to produce the output maps. Due to the time limit, next, we take the sweep operator as an example to introduce the parameter fitting scheme. Other operators, please refer to our paper for more details. With the regret face map, we first identify the staging phase. Concretely, we render the face index map of current shape. Then we find the staging face index by overlap counting. Having the staging face app, the next to find the four remaining parameters. Here we divide the whole process into five steps. The first step is stroke selection by counting. One assumption here is that user draw each complete stroke every time. We project each stroke into the curve map space and select the base offset and profile strokes by overlap counting. Then we use line search to find the offset distance of the offset circle. Note here, the circle centers are used in line search method. Then we do the circle fitting to find the exact circles in space. And next, having the base and offset circles, we find the cross-section plane to calculate the profile curve. As for the Boolean operand, we use simple heuristic checking or user selection. Please, please refer to the paper for more details. With all these steps, we get the final swept shape. Next, we move to synthetic data generation. Our choice of synthetic data generation is based on observations that no data set of paired sketch and CAD modeling sequences available, and the local context provides dominant cues for interpretation of 2D sketches. Thus, we design the following generation scheme to enumerate the local combination of different operations to produce diverse model variations. Specifically, we generate about 10,000 synthesized protocols. For each one, we execute the operations to get the shape and the sketch curves, which are sent to the view-based renderer to get the context and stroke maps, as well as the phase and segment maps for training the network. Totally, our dataset contains 40,000 shapes for training and 10,000 shapes for testing. For the protocol sequence generation, we randomly combine operations with varying lengths. Suppose the current operation is O. We search for M random operations that applied before O. Here, 
We limit m within the range zero to three. There can be very complex combinations and shapes generated as shown in the examples. To balance the complexity, the last operator O has a fixed frequency for different types. That is, one to one to four to two for extrude, bevel, add, subtract, and sweep. The ratios are chosen to account for different complexity. Last, let's see the modeling system with a sequential workflow. As can be seen here, our interface consists of three main parts, the interactive sketching canvas, the parameter editing panel, and the protocol sequence illustration panel. Next, let's see the live demo. Reference ideation sketch by the designer is shown in the bottom right corner. User first adjusts the primitive box size, then selects the view to draw strokes. The shape is updated by the operator recovered by network prediction and parameter optimization. A new view is selected, and the user keeps drawing strokes. The shape is updated immediately. Then, the user switches the view and draws the wheel. Adjust the wheel length by tuning the offset parameter. The user applies auto-completion to attain the opposite wheel by reflection about the selected symmetry plane. User further draws a cylinder. and flips to subtract the cylinder from the shape. Then it attains the final shape. Using our system, we can model a diverse set of CAD models with varying complexity. For example, to create a camera model, we start from a box and gradually draw the lens, body, button parts, and get the final regular CAD model. Another example is shown here. A few steps are sufficient to produce a compelling cattle object. And here are more results. We conduct the user evaluation by inviting six novice users to use our tool to model three target shapes as shown here, generally after 30 minutes tutorial and practice section. Every user can model a target shape with about 12 minutes. All the models created by the participants are shown here. Rich variations are observed, such as a camera from P2 and the hammer from P5, as they intended to deviate from reference. Also, the intermediate sketching step demonstrates the robustness of our system to the user input. For example, we successfully translate various strokes into corresponding cylinders matching user imaginations. There are limitations of our system. For example, we do not support drawing primitives on curved faces. One possibility would be to use NURBS as the modeling primitives. We do not support drawing small features, for example, the screw threads. And the last limitation is that our dataset is geometric feasible rather than semantic meaningful. In the future, we would like to train our network on more realistic dataset, such as Partnet, and also would like to train on CAD model modeling trace data, for example, the Fusion 360 dataset. Another inspiring direction is that we could use NPR to go back to the sketch domain and allow users to freely alternate between the two representations. To conclude, we propose Sketch to CAD, an interactive modeling system to translate rough sketches to regular CAD models. The proposed technical contributions enable our system to efficiently and effectively model diverse CAD shapes. We thank the reviewers and colleagues for the valuable suggestions and discussions, user evaluation participants and funding support. Code and data available now. Please feel free to try it. Any problem, you can send me an email. That's all. Thanks for listening.